Hi, Intuitive friend, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexa Taro, and today I'll be channeling messages focusing on the solar eclipse that is happening April 19th or 20th, depending on your location here in 2023. Now, what is a solar eclipse and what makes this one special? Well, first thing is I have these crystals here to kind of give you a visual of what uh, a solar eclipse is. So the cornelian here, uh, I've chosen it for it to represent the sun and the desert rose quartz to represent the moon. And here with the Kambaba Jasper to represent the earth. And this is exactly what happens during a solar eclipse. The sun is blocked by the moon, which then creates the solar eclipse here uh, seen on earth. Okay, so there is this blockage here from the moon. And that's what creates this solar eclipse. Uh, solar eclipse. Now, this is common. It does happen. Um, and what's special about this specific one uh, coming up for us, April 19th, 20th, uh, again, 2023, um, is that this one is happening during the um, kind of like there's this Aries energy, right? It's happening through this Aries time frame. And Aries is ruled by the planet Mars, all right? So this is talking about a solar eclipse happening, but there's this energy that's coming in with that Mars energy. It's all about taking charge, right? So letting go of things that no longer serve us in order for us to align and take charge on a new chapter. So that being said, that will be the focus of my pick a card reading uh, for you today. All right. Now, the first thing is that I'm going to say is that there's some prelim preliminary cards right here, and this is focusing on the closure. So what closures, what chapters do you need to close here during that solar eclipse uh, time frame? And then if you see these cards right here, I will take these cards and really try to find out and channel messages here for you in regards to why is this important to close and what's coming up? What's the new chapter? How is it that this Mars energy, right, during the solar eclipse is going to help you uh, or air in, in Aries, of course, is going to help you transcend or help you propel yourself into a new chapter. So, before I begin, let me show you what the preliminary cards here are being represented with which crystal. Okay, so group number one is being represented here by the quartz crystal. Group number two is represented here by the howlite crystal. And group number three is represented by the black tourmaline. So dial down the internal noise, concentrate, let your intuition be your guide, whichever pile or piles you feel intuitively called towards. And I'll see you down below in the description box. There will be timestamps and I'll see you in your designated timestamp. I'll see you then. Hi, Intuitive Friend, and thank you so much for joining me back. You have selected group number one, Clear Quartz. We do have a preliminary pile here or group. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Tarot, and I am a second-degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to you, my subscribers, my new viewers, and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, we're going to take a look first at the closures. What is it that you need to leave behind during this solar eclipse energy? And then we're going to take a look at what you need to take charge. What new direction do you need to take a look at? What actions you need to set forth in order to start a new path, okay? Now, group number one, you have here religion. And you also have here redemption. And um, I'm just name, I'm just telling you the name of the card, but I am going to channel intuitively what I'm feeling here. Um, and with religion, it's not so much religion per se. For some of you, that may be, um, you know, it may symbolize here this energy of this 
kind of traditional route or what does society think? What What is someone going to say? What is my family going to think? What is my social network going to, uh, how are they going to react? What, you know, so I'm getting this energy surrounding like what you think others may think of you, of your situation, of a circumstance, of an event, of a decision that you may want to take. It's kind of like letting go of that energy of what other people may think or what about what other people may say. Some of you here, I'm feeling that there's this sense of like needing or holding on to what is it that other people are going to like. Okay, so I'm doing something, but I'm doing it because I want either um, the approval of others or that approval of, of other people is what keeps you confined into doing something that may not really be your authentic self, right? You're not, you may be not showing, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, fully your authentic self, okay? And that's how that com is coming across. Here with redemption, I'm getting that others of you, if you're not connecting with this uh, intuitive message, then perhaps maybe you may connect to this one. Others of you here, there may be, there may be something, a situation, circumstance, event, or maybe even a person here that you may feel that there is this sense of needing to forgive them or others, or needing to forgive yourself. There's this sense here of either self-punishment or blaming yourself or blaming someone else for, again, a situation, circumstance, or event here. Could be connected to a person as well. All right, so that's what I'm feeling here. And that's the energy here that is coming through here as the energy of needing to let go, right? We need to let go of this energy in order to then be able to take action and really take charge into a new direction. Now, let's take a look at why this is important. Why should you do let go of these energies, okay? Let's take a look here. And you have here life's purpose. Seek your own deeper vision for life. And like I said, whether you relate to the first message or the second message or even both, this is talking about the reason why this is important for you to let that go in order to move on in a new direction is because there's a certain life purpose here that you may be uh, kind of either not in full alignment with. Now, life purpose could be in love, it could be in career, or it could be in your spiritual journey, right? So it could be in any of those aspects. But this is talking about really being able to live that authentic life, like I was saying before, leaving behind these energies so that you can maximize that life purpose. So beautiful energy here for you in regards to, you know, think about during this solar eclipse energy. All right, let's take a look at uh, how can you move past these energies, okay? So how can you move past these uh, blockages here, all right, or these energies that may be holding you back. So this is all about that Mars energy in Aries, like I was talking about earlier. And so this is all about the action. So how can you p move past this and set forth into a new direction or in a new type of action mindset? Well, the one who stands. And it says here, resolute, okay, determined. There's this sense here of you letting go of this energy here, really focusing on what clarity is going to come through for you here during this eclipse season. All right. She's, or this person here is holding a sword and sword is, uh, especially this sword is coming through like that ace of swords energy in tarot. It's that clear breakthrough of clarity here. Okay. But here, what I'm seeing with this person is that they have the past really lingering or holding them back here. It's interesting because when I place this down, this skeleton, right? The skeleton right here, or that skull is really facing, was really towards my left hand. And this is talking about the past. Okay. So there could be something that you're hanging on to that has to do with the past, but there's this need here for you to take action into a clear, rational thought, leaving your uh, kind of emotions, putting those aside and really thinking logically and intelligently here on the next move or taking charge in a new direction. 
Last but not least, let's take a look here at more clarity here. What clarity is coming in for the one who stands? It's like really taking a brave stance is what is coming across here. It's like you taking and mustering up the courage to stand up not only for yourself, but stand up for what it is that you authentically feel your life purpose should be right so uh that's how that's coming across now let's take a look here at more clarity here and we have wow page of pentacles energy right so there's this sense here with the page of pentacles of being able to manifest those new opportunities there's a beginning stage here with the solar uh eclipse here that you have the ability to make those plans that new beginning that groundwork into reality when you place the effort, the determination, the patience, and the hard work, when you put all that in, you may result in, again, being able to manifest this new beginning, this new action, okay, in whichever aspect or facet of your life. But as I said before, validation confirmation here with the 10 of, uh, a 10 of wands. There may be a need here to let go of the things here that are pulling you down, the things that are weighing on your shoulders, the burdens, okay, that I discussed earlier here with this energy of having to close, needing to release, needing to let go in order for you to really start on your life purpose. So beautiful messages here. And I'm going to do one more for you. All right. Pile number one or number one, what mindset you need to have in order to maximize this beautiful new start here, this taking charge and action energy that you will be starting here during the solar eclipse. All right. Let's take a look here. And yep, my challenges help me grow. If you have this mindset during the solar plex energy, this is going to be able to maximize this take charge type of action energy that is here to help you through the solar eclipse. Now, if you want more messages, don't forget to meet me on Patreon and uh, that's down below in the description box and all my credentials are there as well. Thank you so much for joining me here, group number one, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, intuitive friend, and thank you so much for joining me back. You have selected a group number two, which is represented by the white howlite. Now, before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to you, my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love your support, and your loyalty. Now, don't forget to continue to give those thumbs up, continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, so we're going to start with the preliminary cards that came out for you. And again, those are all focusing on the challenges. What is it that you need to let go? The closure. What is it that you need to close during the solar eclipse energy? And then we'll talk a little bit about what you need to uh, kind of in a way, open up or take charge. How can you do that? All right. So the first card you have here is the monster within. And the second card you have here is compassion. And what I'm feeling here for you, group number two, especially with this monster within is that that for some of you, there is this sense of internal struggle. There's a sense of personal challenges, wanting to improve something, not knowing how, or kind of like really allowing your self-limiting beliefs to pull you from that energy of really believing in yourself and moving in a new direction or taking charge in something having to do with your life. Now, this could be in the aspect of love, career, or personal journey, all right? Others of you, it could be in your spiritual journey as well. So what I'm picking, uh, I'm picking up here this energy is like there's this kind of like potential that you have that you're kind of in a way blinding yourself towards right there's this sense of like you see this person here um you know kind of like you know uh, playing music but what i'm getting here is that there's a skill there's a there's a there's a beautiful unique 
skill set that you have that you may be overlooking, okay, that you may be kind of thinking too much about it or not feeling that you're good at it or not as good as somebody else. But in reality, there's something here that you naturally possess that's been there with you by your side, okay, that's been there uh, you know, as either a guide or as a muse or, you know, just kind of like always been there with you that you're overlooking or maybe overlooking. There may be something there that you just kind of like don't think that could be or could lead to something even bigger, right? So this is giving me the sense of this uh like really deep-rooted sense of self-doubt, like self-sabotaging thoughts and fears not allowing you to really maximize your full potential. Now, what I'm also getting here is especially here with this compassion um, card, okay? Now, for some of you, you may relate to this first card only, and that's fine. For others of you, you may relate to the second card. For others of you, these two messages may uh, come across as, you know, it resonates. Both of them resonate with you. Now, with compassion here, what I'm feel feeling here is that some of you feel that you need to do everything on your own. I have to do it. I have to have my hands on everything. I have to, you know, if I don't do it, then no one's going to be able to do it as great as me. And what happens here with this energy is that that's great, right? That's great that you are a go-getter in that way. Um, or that you feel here that there's a sense of like really being open to others, helping others, being very compassionate, giving, giving, giving. And again, that's a positive quality, but everything in moderation. Because what happens is that if you're the type of person who feels that you need to be the one that needs to put your hands on everything, then there's this sense of draining your energy, of draining yourself out. Same thing with compassion. It's great to be kind. It's great to be compassionate. But if you're putting others before you, how can you give from an empty cup? Okay. And that's the message here that I'm getting here. So there's this sense of being afraid to accept help from others, being afraid to be able to delegate um, responsibilities to others, okay, so that they can help support you or help nurture you or so that you don't have so much in your hands that you are draining yourself, okay, and that's how that's coming across. Now, let's take a look here at how you can uh, or I should say, why? Why is this important for you to let go? Why is this energy uh, of closing these chapters important right now during the solar eclipse energy? Okay, and then we're going to focus on the new energy, okay, or new direction. Now, it says here, way of faith. Let faith be your guide. Why is it important? Because you need to have faith that the universe has your back. You need to have faith that, you know what, if you delegate um, responsibilities with, to others that you're going to be okay. As long as you delegate it to the right people. Right. Um, and, and this is, this is how this is coming across. Like also having faith that yes, you can give to others, but yes, it's okay for you to receive the nurturing in return to have faith that others can also take care of you when you are in the position of accepting that help, accepting that love, and accepting that sense of supportive energy, both from the universe and from others that are there to nurture and support you as well. So you don't have to always be that person to do, 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 do only by yourself. You can accept uh, with loving arms and with that loving heart, energy, acceptance, and support from those who love you. All right. And that's how that's coming across. Now, let's take a look here at how can you take charge? OK, during the solar plaque, I'm supposed to say I was saying solar plaques. OK, so for some of you, there is a sense of this leadership coming from your solar plex energy and for you to really listen in and allow yourself to be nurtured. OK, as well, listen to your intuition. Look what just came out. I was just talking. I just said intuition. Right. This is the universe saying hello. This message is for you. So how can you take charge during this um you know, solar eclipse. I'm going to put the other ones back because this is the one that really came out, uh, coming, came out for you. Now this says the one who knows wisdom, clarity, resolution. So how can you take charge? How can you go into this new direction during the solar, uh, eclipse, uh, moment? Well, 
to start listening to your intuitive sense, your inner wisdom, to know that when you are um, putting faith in the universe for that co-creation energy or that you're putting your faith in the ability for others to help you, that you're delegating those responsibilities to people that you feel that really can do the work or can give you that support to know that you are in the right hands, right? So go with that gut sense that solar that this is maybe the reason why this came out where i say I, I, I channeled solar plex energy and guess what the solar plex chakra which is the energy center of your body is where that gut level feeling that intuition comes from so there's a sense of your intuition helping you and guiding you to take charge in a new direction during this solar eclipse april 19th april 20th in 2023 so listen very closely to that inner oracle that inner wisdom that may be guiding you on either the direction or when to take charge or what actions to put in place in order for you to open a new cycle a new beginning a new chapter okay or for some of you a new direction let's take a look here at more clarity and we have judgment yeah that aha moment that self epiphany judgment card this is all about that pluto energy okay this is about renewal evolution revolution okay to look at things from a different mindset this self epiphany for some of you this is all about the inner calling so there's something here that you are intuitively feeling in a direction that you should go or in the direction that you may be leading some of you may be overthinking it too much right you're thinking too much about it and not listening to your inner oracle and maybe if you sit down during this solar eclipse type of energy and take that you know that internal volume and dial it down and really tune in to your inner wisdom you'll be able to hear and see the sign symbol synchronicities that are really moving you in a different direction. This may be a second chance as well for some of you, a second chance to start something new that you have been feeling for quite some time, but really haven't taken the action, the uh, self-confidence to really make that move or go in that direction. So there is this sense of, again, epiphany, illumination, clarity coming in for you during this solar eclipse energy yeah well like i said five of swords you need to leave behind the self-doubt here in order to be able to go in that direction so that is giving you validation confirmation there about what i was just explaining and channeling for you now let's take a look here at the last deck how uh or i should say what mindset you need to have in order to maximize this new chapter during this solar eclipse okay so how can you maximize this taking charge energy well celebrate uh life every day start your day with a sense of inner gratitude be thankful for what you have and then use that gratitude to co-create with the universe because the universe loves it when we are thankful for what we have no matter how small uh, we may uh, we may feel that that blessing may be there's always more that the universe can help us attain but that starts with being thankful for all the little things in your life so that the uh, universe can continue to give us more right so group number two i hope that you uh like the insights that you've heard here today don't forget to follow me on patreon and that is down below in the description box and i'll see you next time Hello, and Twitter friend, and you have selected group number three, which is uh, represented by the black tourmaline. Now, before I start channeling messages on this prelim preliminary pile, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to you, my subscribers, my new viewers, and visitors alike for your love your support and your loyalty i want to thank you for your thumbs up and if you can continue to like with those thumbs up as well as uh continue to like share and subscribe so that i can continue to bring you 
these channeled messages, okay? So let's take a look here at what are the areas. What's the closure that you need to do in order to start this new beginning during the solar eclipse, okay? So closures, let's see what we have here for you. We have natural, okay? And you have supernatural, interesting. Interesting energy here, because what I'm getting, what I'm getting here, by the way, I'm just going to start off by saying, so if some of you were kind of like in between, should I pick group number two or should I pick group number three? I'm just going to tell you I'm getting the same initial energy that I just had for group number two. So there may be some more messages there for you as well, okay? But only if that happened. If that didn't happen, if you weren't kind of torn between group number two and group number three, then that may not resonate with you, okay? But if you had that inner uh, kind of intuitive kind of like, which one should I pick? Um, I'm getting a lot of this energy came as well with group number two. So take a look at that. There may be additional messages there for you. Now, here with natural, I'm, I'm picking up this energy of that there's this either fear of being very vulnerable, okay, with other people. Um, what I'm seeing clairvoyantly is an iceberg, and I'm seeing only the tip, but I'm being kind of shown the bottom as the emphasis. So there's like, there's more to you. There's more, um, there is like something more about you that you may be a little bit hesitant about showing the world. There may be something that you could also be, I don't want to say hiding, but there's a sense of like not being transparent with that chunk okay, of the iceberg that I'm seeing. That chunk for some of you may be a situation, a circumstance, an event. May, maybe it has to do with your love life, your career, your spiritual journey, but there's something there that it's like there's more than meets the eye. And you might not be sharing your authentic self with others, right? There's this sense of kind of like, pulling things back a little, um, and not really showcasing your full potential. All right. There's this sense here that I'm getting, especially in this like society. And what do I mean by that? I mean about these like thumbs up, like people doing things, saying things because they want eyes on them or they want to be liked. Okay. Either through social media or, um, you know, see my picture, see my picture, give me a thumbs up, you know, that type of energy. There may be this kind of like something that you're showing other people, but in reality, there's a sense of there's more here, right? You might, there, there's more to you than what you may be uh, superficially showing others here. And there's this sense here to really kind of get to the root of who you are and are you really displaying your authentic self, whether it be in whichever medium it may be. Okay. So there may be these kind of, uh, constricting ideas or perceptions that you feel in your mind or in your soul. Like I can't be my true self with my family, my friends, or I can't show or I can't say, or I can't talk about X, Y, and Z because I don't know how it's going to be perceived by others. So that's the energy that I'm getting here. So there's the sense of needing to release that type of um, inner battle is what I'm getting here or inner kind of that inner struggle that I'm getting here. Why? Well, because there's something very unique about you. That's why you're getting here supernatural. There's something very unique about you that you may not be showcasing others. There may be a talent, a skill, I know for me, especially for me, um, I was, you know, I was born intuitive. I was born as a clairvoyant and this was not something that was very easy for me to share with other people. Right. And so, um, you know, I kind of like this pile really resonates also with, with that feeling of how I felt as a child, right? There's a sense of like, I have these you know, beautiful skill set that's amazing, um, gift or talent, but mm, kind of, kind of scared what others would think or how others may perceive me, right? Um, by, you know, perhaps my family, you know, the social norms, uh, religious, you know, factors, right? And so, you know, that's what I'm getting here. There's something very truly special about you. 
uh, maybe even it, unexplainable, whatever it may be, maybe in the supernatural, or it may be something else. Maybe there's an idea that you're thinking about starting your own business, starting your own label, uh, doing something that's out of what you do. But there's this feeling here of being afraid to do it because it may be so different than what others may see. Uh, about you right now at this moment in time. And so this is talking about letting go of that fear because there is something very special about your unique talent, skill, maybe even a unique idea, right? So this could also be a grand idea that you may be having, but you are self-doubting and that self-doubt is causing the sense of you, again, not looking at, you know, your natural idea, this authentic um, project or this idea that you have in your mind that can really benefit others, but you're afraid to showcase it or you're afraid to share it with others or there's this fear of what are other people going to think? Are they, are they, good, are they going to be okay with it, right? And that's what I'm getting here. Now let's take a look at why it's important for you to close this energy so that you can be in the energy of taking action and in a new being beginning so let's see why this is important to let go how well it says here trust your gut feelings let your heart lead to who you are exactly what i was feeling here i mean talk about validation confirmation here group number three this is exactly what it's saying there's something here that you are intuitively um special that's intuitively unique whether it's a project whether it's an idea whether it's a uh you know but it's something it's something really special but you are in a way kind of blocking your own blossoming in that new direction and taking charge in that either idea concept or something because you're afraid of or there may be again self-sabotaging thoughts and fear that are creating a sense of uncertainty and this is saying the reason why you need to leave this behind especially during the solar eclipse um energy is because you really need to trust yourself and let go of that because there is a true life purpose here that is you know coming in for you that is very special that you possess and that you have the ability to maximize if you just believe in yourself, okay? So trust your gut uh, feeling, let your heart, let your yin energy, not the logical analytical side of yourself, but let your yin energy, your heart center, let that be your guide and let that intuition help you and surrender to that process so that you can feel the sense of like, okay, what is it I truly need to focus on um, and maximize this beautiful skill set, right? Wow, so beautiful. There's something supernatural. There's something unique here. So uh, I would love to hear in the comments down below how this may resonate with you, group number three. All right, now let's take a look here. All right. Um, what do you, what do you need to do? How do you need to move past this energy in order to really maximize the taking charge energy in Aries, this action energy? How can you move past this right here to move forward in a new direction? And we have here for you, the one who rises. Wow. Beautiful. Look at that. Phoenix, uh, tattoo, right? in the back of this person's arm. So there is a sense here that as soon as you realize, okay, that there is something special, whether it's a unique quality, skill set, or anything like I mentioned here before, when you realize that, when you have this energy, which is great because guess what? Phoenix energy is all about that fire energy and so is Aries. So this is a perfect time for you to actually start moving in that new direction, to start taking charge of this energy. Let that go. Listen to your yin energy and be able to start moving in a direction where you are passionate, where you are determined, where, where your heart is leading you to. There's a sense of ambition. There's a sense of moving there and rising from the 
dust rising from the ashes like the phoenix so beautiful energy here in way especially here talking about taking charge and action so this is beautiful here now let's take a look here um yeah and i feel here in order for you to be able to do this this new beginning with this energy you need to let go of this so that this can manifest itself okay so that's how that's coming across here all right let's take a take a look here i'm also feeling this balancing of the yin energy intuition and the yang energy fire energy proactive focus movement momentum right so i feel that there's this balance that needs to be uh taken into account here during this time all right, let's take a look here. Yeah, we got to let go of what no longer serves you. Eight of Cups, disengaging from any emotional attachments or anything that has been, uh, you know, in a way pulling you emotionally and kind of being stuck in this energy that I shared earlier. Okay, so in order for you to move in a new direction, in order for you to take charge, you need to let go, disengage from that emotional uh, situation, circumstance, or event in order to move forward into what? Well, into a new horizon. So beautiful energy in that. And that is going to bring you, I mean, this is beautiful. This is going to bring you to the Ten of Cups energy. Complete and total emotional fulfillment. There's a completion here. There's a cycle for some of you, especially if this is in love. This is talking about partnership. This is talking about commitment. This is feeling emotionally fulfilled here. There's a sense of commitment. There's a sense here of being committed to whatever it is that you are feeling here whatever this is that your gut level feeling is moving you towards here during the solar eclipse energy last but not least let's take a look here at how you can maximize this beautiful energy here in this solar solar eclipse energy where it's all about this aries uh energy mars energy and how else can you do this well what might say you need to have? My possibilities are endless. To believe that just as the phoenix rises from the dust, so can you. Just like other people can achieve their successes, so can you. But you need to believe in yourself in order to do that. You need to disengage from the self-sabotaging thoughts or fears, from your emotions of feeling, well, I don't, I don't know if I should go in this direction. I don't know if, you know, I should do this or, eh, you know, kind of that feeling, letting that go so that you can live and really be in your authentic self and really maximize that energy here. Again, your possibilities are endless group number three i hope these messages have resonated with you don't forget to uh, catch up with me on patreon and i'll see you there take care and i'll see you next time